guys I met, they are the people you call, you know, solid gold. And they're true, tempered steel. Okay, cowboy, take a deep seat. I didn't feel, which I do so often when I'm out here, that there's a veneer of paper thin. I felt this was solid. Something if you leant against it, you weren't going to fall through. Good ride, cowboy. <laughs> I'm glad I found America's heart still beating somewhere. But it makes me wonder if I can find this community spirit anywhere else. I'm on my way to visit a gated community, but this isn't any old gated community. It's one of the largest in California, and the average age of a residence is 78 years old. It's specifically designed for Americans to retire to. It's a sort of God's waiting room in California. It's a world which I think would lead me to go to an early grave as quickly as possible. I think we must keep going. Never give anything up till it gives you up. But I do understand they all shag each other like rabbits. Um, so maybe that's what keeps them going. Through this gate, on September the 10th, 1964, came the first residence of Leisure World. So here we are in a city which is just full of old people. I find that fucking weird. Papa loves mambo. Mama loves mambo. Look at him sway with it, getting so gay with it, shout no lay with it, wow. We're in the heart of Leisure World now, aren't we? The old section, yes, the heart of the old section. What, what attracted you to Leisure World? I like it here because we're with our peers. Our, you know, more people our age and not set into a, a climate of young people and beautiful young women and we don't have to compete with all that. So you can relax here, can't you, Beth? Because you're not feeling you're in the way. That's right. It's just wonderful being around people your own age instead of young people all the time. I don't want to talk about babies. <laughs> <laughs> we have golf courses, we have swimming pools, we have bowling alleys, we have tennis courts, um, just anything you want to do. Anyone who gets bored in Leisure World, they just don't have much going for them, that's all. <laughs> and we're kind of like rehabilitated teenagers. <laughs> I know, I do get that distinct <laughs> impression. <laughs> In this city for the elderly, one of the most popular forms of activity is synchronised swimming. You know, it has been the most fucking stupid Olympic sport ever invented. The synchronised swimming by old age pensioners is, to say the least, weird. Hi ladies, I'm going to come and join you. Let's get I can't resist. I've never been in a pool before with just ladies, and so many of them too. Well, don't be nervous. <laughs> okay, let's play the music. Anybody who thinks that's easy ought to try it themselves. Yes. It's very not cool. very it's easy, it's easy. very yeah. difficult. Most of us are this here is twice a week. At least we go to the beach, we have cookouts, <laughs> we have parties and luncheons, and all kinds of good stuff together. <laughs> I'm not old enough yet. I've got a couple of years I might qualify. Tell you how old some of these ladies are. Yeah, how old are these ladies? Well, 85. Brilliant. 85. 85. 
I'm 53. So oh. I'm like, oh. yeah, 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 I'm not here. Oh my I'm Lord, you could be our son. <laughs> I came to America and had my preconception confounded. And, you know, here I'm as poor as in great farms. You know, the girls are great. They're having a cracking time. They've learnt this skill. And I'll tell you what, any little stupid, snooty bastard who thinks it's easy better get him that pool and try it themselves because it's sodding well, isn't it? If I'm as fit as one of those girls is at 85 or 90, I'll be one chuffed man. I've enjoyed America a lot more than I thought, but America is the home of fast everything, and I wonder why that is, and I think it's because America is in its adolescence. It's a young country. It means it's like a teenager. It knows no fear. It has no for the future, because the future is it. And rather like your adolescence at home, it throws its weight about or wants to make everybody else do what it wants to do. And sometimes it behaves crashly and boorishly. One day America will grow up, but I expect that day is still a very, very long way off. I'm looking forward to, amazing enough, leaving this beach, the sea, the sun, and heading back to what I expect would be wet, windy, rather cold, and rather desolate and dismal England. But for all that, I love the bloody place. Next Monday at 9, Angelina Exposed. Of course I loved her physically and, and all that, but it's evolved to something so much more. Angelina, saint or sinner. And next. Hello? Who is that? Just to hang up. Nobody knows you're here. That kind of thing can get you killed. It's Nip Tuck, now only on Sky One.